Crystal from crystallrsimpson.com. I am a child of God who feels compelled to share the peace, love, and joy that I have found as a child of God. In humble obedience and out of my love for God, I'm building my YouTube presence. So please help me out by giving me a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell button to be notified of the new content. I will post new videos weekly. Recently, I attended the funeral of my first cousin, and since then I have been reminded of one of the very first posts that I wrote on the website, and it was called, Let Your Light Shine in the Darkness. I really would like to share it with you today, and I pray that it is a blessing. It was nighttime, and I was walking through the darkness of my house with the light off, trying really hard to be careful not to wake anyone. But before I knew it, wham! I misjudged the door opening, and I stubbed my toe. The pain rushed through my little toe, and I instantly felt regret and shame for not turning on the light. Has this ever happened to you? Of course, I know, probably too many times. But as I sat there and I watched my bruised pinky toe become discolored, I heard myself whisper what I often whisper in times of pain. Please help me, Jesus. In hindsight, I could have used the light from my phone. It would have been nice just to have even a little light. Stubbing my toe made me think of Jesus, who is our light. How often he wants me to seek him, but I go it alone, only to find myself suffering from unnecessary pain or heartache. In the Bible, in John, the 8th chapter, verse 12, in the English Standard Version, it says, Again, Jesus spoke to them, saying, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Once we have the light of Jesus, we are able to light be a light for others to see. Our light should be bright and illuminate our homes and our cities. The light should shine so that it points others to Jesus. Every Christian must take the time to evaluate to whom their light leads others to seek. You see, people don't need to follow people. We are all flawed. We must follow Jesus. Another scripture reminds us that you are the light of the world. A city set on the hill cannot be hidden, nor do people light a lamp and put it under a basket, but on a stand, and it gives light to all of the house. That's Matthew, the fifth chapter, 14 through the 15th verse. When I hear this scripture, I immediately think of a lighthouse. You see, Christians are often compared to a lighthouse tower, and for good reason. There are three similarities between being a Christian and a lighthouse. First off, a lighthouse shines and it gives hope. Christians should give hope. Although a lighthouse tower cannot save, it can shine a light. And in this way, the lighthouse beam can warn of danger and show the way to safety. In other words, the job of the lighthouse is only to shine. It's only to shine the light and give hope. No one wants to be preached at, judged, or looked down upon. All Christians must be careful to just be a light and simply show the love of God. We must remember that only God can do the saving. Only our Lord can bring salvation. As a Christian or or a lighthouse tower, we must patiently let his beam shine through us and trust the process. We need to allow loved ones or people that we care about to be attracted to the light of love that shines through us. Secondly, a lighthouse is trusted to stand alone. When I think of a lighthouse beacon, I picture it standing afar off and standing there alone. The tower is expected to remain in warm weather, cold weather, and even when harsh storms arise. As Christians, we may often feel as though we're standing alone. 
And this may be a little difficult, but Christians are trusted to stand for God, even when others around them do not. Christians must stand even in the middle of the storms of life. A lighthouse must be dependable. Lastly, a lighthouse is well constructed and built to last. As Christians, we must remember that the storms come, but they also go. Never lose hope. God has us in the palm of his hand, and he has fully equipped us to stand and not fail. Although we may not feel ready for the storm, God has provided us with the strength through his word, and he covers us with his mighty hand and spiritual armor. We must faithfully stand so that we give consistent light. We should stand with our lights shining and be ready to share the love and the message of light to others. We all need to examine our lives and honestly ask ourselves whether we are letting our light shine like a lighthouse. Our lives mustn't lead others astray, even during a crisis or chaotic time. As a lighthouse, we should bring peace and a reminder that there is a place of safety. In conclusion, Christians must learn to let their light shine in the darkness. The enemy wants to dim the light. He wants to dim the light of the Christian witness. He wants to bring discouragement, confusion, and negativity. The enemy seeks to limit our ability to stand as a lighthouse, but instead he wants to cause us to focus and dwell on past scars, stigma, or negativity that bring pain. If you're watching this video on YouTube or another platform, I have written a prayer that you can access at the bottom of the blog post on www.crystalrsimpson.com. Let's pray and ask God to help bring forth peace and brotherly love. The world and our nation may be in a dark place right now, but that means it's a perfect time for all lighthouses to shine with the love of God. Let's bow our heads in prayer and continue to stand for what is right. You'll also find another free resource on my website at www.crystalrsimpson.com. It's called a Let Your Life Shine checklist that should remind us as we strive to live as Jesus lived. I invite you to download this simple checklist and use it to encourage yourself this week. Use this principle to gauge how you are doing and then ask, pray and ask God to help you in the areas in which you are weak. Information is also shared below this video on how you can get a copy of my collection of prayers by Crystal R. Simpson ebook. Until next time, be blessed and choose joy.